much welcome and please do not forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video i am going to be showing you this beautiful village so please join me all right before we carry on let me just explain this to people who are tuning in for the first time on this channel on this channel we talk about everything rural development in south africa we showcase the beautiful things that people in the villages in the rural south africa have done to develop their rural areas to make sure that they live the best life that they want from building beautiful houses to even starting businesses that are going to empower and create employment in the rural areas we are talking about so many things the lifestyle how people are living right now in the rural areas of south africa comparison to how people used to live before so on this video we are going to look at two villages that are very impressive and how people are building their homes we are going to start with emandawe emandawe is just not too far from the city of Devon. Approaching this village, you'll swear you are in the suburbs of some kind. Seriously, I've been saying this with so many villages in South Africa right now because they've taken a different shape. Houses are becoming closer and closer together, but people still have big yards. Like any other village in South Africa, it is rich in natural resources. Limestone is one of those resources you find around in this village. And you can see there's a mining company that's a private company that has decided to mine limestone. Limestone is very good for manufacturing bricks and also to manufacture the very same material that we use in South Africa to pave the roads. As you can see here, when you enter into this village, you can see that the roads have been paved before. They look like they have been done, but they are just deteriorating. But like any other village in South Africa, people build beautiful homes, but the roads in between the homes are just not done. I don't know what is the reason behind this but it becomes very difficult for people who are trying to build their beautiful homes like this to be able to build in a very smooth way because the roads are not done oh well enough politics let's just view these beautiful homes starting with this beautiful home here i mean i looked at the plan of this home i'm like wow people come with just brilliant plans when they are building their own homes how gorgeous is this i had to turn around and look at it so that i can show you the back of it it looks so beautiful the owner of this house thought about everything look at the thatch roof he incorporated the cultural elements into this house brilliantly i love 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 what i'm seeing Very new and looking so stunning. I love the color, I love the roof, I love everything. I love, love, love the plan for this house also. It is very gorgeous. Turn around also so that you can see back and forth how beautiful this view these people are having. The different architectural designs are very stunning and make every household stand up on its own i love that i love how people are just like creating their own magic in their own way from a distance you look at these villages and think that the yards will be very small but they are very huge Crossing over the fields of sugarcane farms, you just approach Dududu, which is another village. Again, the roads are very not so good because it was very difficult for me to drive around in between houses. Sometimes I thought I was going to fall over the hills. Luckily, I'm driving a very big car, but look at that stunner. The stunner that's just sitting there, nestled.
let's talk about these beautiful views stunning how stunning is this the fact that people around here get to look at this every single morning every single evening watching the sunset and the sunrise i really feel envious of these people i love 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 what i'm seeing this village is presenting so many so many things i mean when i'm looking at how the houses are planned and structured you can see that the element of tradition still has a whole lot of impact into how people are planning their own households and their housing plans. It is very interesting. I see this when I drive around South Africa that each and every province has a different way of how they structure and also build their own villages. Our rural areas are a true reflection of our cultural diversity. Wherever I go in the rural areas and looking at villages in different provinces, I can see the touch of culture there and there. That brings identity to each and every province and every village around in South Africa in nine provinces. Somewhere, somehow, we couldn't resist looking at sugarcane as we were passing by. So, well, it's somebody else's farm, but we stopped around, decided to just have a little bit of sugarcane. I don't think we are committing any crime, but please, if you think we did the wrong, forgive us. There's plenty where this came from. I'm sure the owner of this farm won't even bother that we took about four sticks of sugar cane and indulge on it. It's so beautiful, it's so nice. It reminds me when I was very young. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Again, we will meet on Sunday.